One of the most common questions that people ask when it comes to training is what time should they train? Which is the most optimal time to acquire the most substantially rotund muscular structure? And some people throw around a bunch of different answers. As soon as you wake up, late at night, at exactly 11.36 a.m. But the answer is whenever you want. And the real answer is whenever you can. A lot of people say you should work out first thing in the morning to get it out of the way or to conquer the day early. From speaking to a lot of people, they think they have to do this, otherwise it makes them an unproductive loser if they don't get up at 3.35 to get their sweat on, which by the way, they absolutely are. But why would I wanna get my workout over and done with? It's the most enjoyable, de-stressing part of my day. Nothing helps me unwind from a stressful day more than pushing some heavy weight and blasting Taylor Swift in the headphones. You know for many people, working out first thing in the morning gives them a burst of energy that lasts throughout the entire day. And they often say they'll feel sluggish if they miss their early morning workouts. That's really great. This doesn't apply to me. Every time I work out in the morning, I'm pretty much done for the day by 10 a.m. Especially if I try to push myself, which I always do. And another thing is I'm always weaker when I train in the morning. I have maybe 80% of my normal strength when I train first thing in the morning. And that's because you don't have as many calories in your system as you would if you trained later in the day. You're also dehydrated from a night of not drinking any water. And considering muscles are mostly made up of water, that's a pretty big deal if you want them to have the maximum output. Unless you wake up absurdly early to slam a meal and a couple liters of water with some electrolytes. Another pro point for training in the morning is your testosterone levels are highest in the morning, meaning it might give you more drive and the ability to push through pain and enjoy your workouts, as well as have slight benefits on your recovery. Now, I usually train at night, and training at night usually allows for the most intense workouts because you don't have time constraints and you're filled with calories and water from throughout the day, so you're not dehydrated. But you usually have to overcome that post-work exhaustion to get into the gym in the first place. The gym is also often a lot more busy and it comes at the expense of your social life, which shouldn't be an issue if you make your entire existence about the gym. But if you want friends or romantic partner who are normal, socially adjusted people, training every single night might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, you wanna do dinner and drinks with your best friends? I'm afraid you can't. It's chess day. It's also very difficult with a family because the evenings are time you should probably be spending with your kids, those damn gains goblins. Unless you wanna be a deadbeat dad who's never around for his kids, which, you know, is also cool. For the parts of my life that have allowed it, an early afternoon training session seems to get me the best of both worlds. You get some calories in before you start training, so you have a good workout. And because it's later in the day, you don't end up crashing and losing half of your productive day because you're too exhausted from waking up at four in the morning. And I, and you more than likely, will get a spike of energy which allows you to be more productive after your training session. And you have the evenings and mornings open, so you can have a social life and some other kind of morning routine. Plus, the gym is usually very quiet which is great for most people. But if you're a raging narcissist like me, it's a little bit disappointing because no one's around to see how good you look. But obviously most jobs don't allow you to just take two hours out of the middle of your day and come back super sweaty. So you either have to be a student, on vacation, self-employed, or the best of all, unemployed. But the most important thing is that you get to training. A lot of people use this time thing as an excuse saying, oh, well, I don't have the time and I can't train in the morning or I can't train in the evening because it's not optimal and this author said I wasn't supposed to do it. Any workout is better than no workout. And so whatever slot you have to be able to get into the gym, use it. Whether it's 4.45 a.m., 3 o'clock or 10 p.m. at night, don't feel like you're restricted to the advice of other people and just go when you can. Throughout my life, I've been forced to train at different times because of the things going on around me. Getting up early to train before work, training late at night after lectures at varsity, or right in the middle of the day when I didn't have that much going on. But the point to me was to always go even when I had to completely switch up my schedule. The best time to train is whenever you actually do it. Otherwise your gym membership is just a very expensive keychain. I learned recently that my sign off is used by Matt Welsh, who I want nothing to do with. So uh, goodbye people.